Hey, what's up guys? Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Now, I am celebrating right now because as you can see, it is the 30th anniversary of Cubase. And this is blowing my mind because I am 36 years old. So it means that when I was six years old, Cubase already existed. And there was nothing back then. I don't even remember seeing a computer. So this is crazy. And uh, I'll be giving away a free copy of Cubase Pro 10. So I'll be giving the details at the end of the video so stay tuned if you want to win a free copy of Cubase then. Um, now I want to give you a little bit of backstory of how I started using Cubase as well as tell you why I still think Cubase is the best DAW out there. So I started making music when I was 12 years old. My mom bought me a guitar and I couldn't stop playing that guitar. So after a while, I met some friends in high school that were also playing music. So we decided to start a band and we knew someone that was studying sound engineering. So he was at school and he had a studio at school. So he offered us to, to record us for free. So when I was there, uh, he was telling me about how much it cost to buy some studio equipment and even to rent a studio to record yourself. And I was overwhelmed by how much it would cost just to rent a studio or to try to equip yourself to record your own stuff. Uh, but after a while, uh, I found out that there was something called a TAW, a Digital Audio Workstation. And the only one I knew back then was Cool Edit Pro. It became Adobe Edition afterwards. So I started using it and I wasn't really good at recording myself. I didn't know how to use effects. It was really basic, but it was the only DAW that I knew and I decided to go study sound engineering myself. So I went to a college and they were teaching us Pro Tools and I remember one of my teacher told me uh, that yeah, he's teaching Pro Tools at school, but he's actually using Cubase and he thought Cubase was the superior DAW. It was way more powerful. You had offline uh, export back then. You had freeze. You had a lot of cool functions and we used to go record some bands after school and uh, do some uh, live recording and stuff like that so once I went to a live recording and my teacher was using his laptop to record and he was using Cubase so I started looking at the screen and I was immediately in love with the software so after I finished college I had a new band and we wanted to record ourselves and make an EP so I knew that I needed to upgrade my DAW and I didn't have much money back then but a friend of mine had a license of Cubase 4 and we used it for a while and I absolutely fell in love with it. I remember the first time I used it on my own. I recorded some stuff and then I tried to export and I didn't even know that you had to set the locators <laughs> up there. So it didn't want to export and I kept having an error message. So I looked on Google and found out I had to set the locators. So that's how much of a noob I was back then. And I loved everything about it. I thought it was by far the most advanced DW I've ever used. I started working, I got more money. so. I I decided to buy Cubase. I bought Cubase 6 and I was the happiest man on earth. I remember having to mix some songs where the drum was not tight at all and I used the multi-track audio quantize features to tighten the drum and I remember my clients being blown away that I was able to tighten the drum that much and using Vary Audio to tune vocals back then uh, was crazy. Other plugins that did the same thing cost $500, $600 so it, it was a no-brainer for me. Cubase was by far the best DAW and I started uh, participating in the forum a little bit more and asking for feature requests, stuff I would like to see in Cubase and they started implementing those features in Cubase. So December for me is really exciting and it's not only because Christmas is coming but it's because a new version of Cubase will come out and I'm always super impressed by the new features that they're able to put in. Uh, I remember um, when audio alignment came out, it's a feature that I've requested. Just this version, they included uh, an attack and release on the uh, Vary audio to make the transition of the notes not be affected by the straighten pitch. It's something that I requested and the list goes on and on. I've been requesting features and they've been implementing it in Cubase. So for me, it's still by far the best DAW out there and it does pretty much everything I want it to do. I don't even know what to ask as a feature request now because Cubase is so good in MIDI, in audio, in editing, in post-production, in music, in sound design. They have features, VSTi and plugins for everything. Honestly, I couldn't be happier with Cubase and Cubase 10 is no exception. So now for the giveaway, there's only three things to do. 
Uh, first, you need to subscribe to my channel. You need to be a subscriber and you need to leave a comment in the section below telling me why you would like to win a copy of Cubase 10. Um, and the third thing is to subscribe to the Gameloft audio and music channel. Uh, the link will be in the description. I'm actually making content for that channel too and I'll be covering some Cubase stuff. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and the Gameloft audio channel and to leave a comment in the description. I'll be giving away a copy of Cubase on July 1st so it gives you a lot of time to subscribe to those channel leave a comment and make sure you click that like button so happy birthday Cubase I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to let me know uh, why you love Cubase when you started using it and wish a happy birthday to that DAW that we love so much thank you guys and see you in the next video bye guys